Hey guys, it's me, Silverwolf, and we're going to take a little flashback to the 90s today as I show you some of my favourite little play sets that I had when I was a kid. Um, they're all quite small ones. I decided to choose my smallest ones. Um, so there's the kind of little toys that they did back in the 90s. Most of these are, well, 20 years old or over. So uh, it's a little bit of a nostalgia trip. We've got some shout outs. They go to Steel Wolfie, uh, Marco Pallone, um, Serena Lovings and Pom Pom Da Da Debo, uh, Ludu, Rain Cloud and Dotty the Furbies, MSP Lover and Eminem. So we'll start off with, well, ones that you guys probably recognise, or anyone who grew up in the 90s, Polly Pocket. Now they are actually bringing Polly Pocket back, apparently. Um, I don't know what it'll be like, I've seen a few pictures and I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, Polly Pocket back in the 90s was absolutely tiny, so this is one of the little um, uh, play sets. And if you open it up, inside there's Polly. Oh, there is also Nala in there. She's not supposed to be in there, she was from something else. I actually found her on the floor, um, and I put her in with Polly and the rabbits. This is the little rabbit play set. There's Polly there. And some little fuzzy wuzzy bunnies. That does lift up, there we go little teeny tiny sort of they're a bit grubby actually little white bunnies not really focusing very well because uh, they're so tiny so I've actually got two from this series and it was Polly and her pets a little gate opens and everything this is the first Polly pocket place that I ever had little rabbits in this hutch there you can also put him in the the cabbage patch, eating the carrots and things in there, because he's quite naughty that one. So that's the first one. And from the same series we had this one, which was, if I can get it open, this one's always been difficult to open, I do not know why. Hold on. There we go. Polly and her cats. Um, this one has a dog in it because that came from, my friend gave me that one, it came from her Polly Pocket. So she gave me this dog and I put him in here with Polly and her cat. So they are in their basket. And Polly. There's a fish pond there. And you see it's a little bit different to the previous one. The uh, colours are different and she's got a living room instead of a kitchen there. As well as a bedroom and again the little gate opens. They're really detailed. That's what I like about these ones. So, the other small Polly Pocket we have is this one. Now, they did release another series of Polly Pocket where it was um, more pets. I love things with animals in. Um, and this one was a dog. And I think they did, I remember them doing a horse like this, like a horse show one. This one is a dog show. There's the dog. And he goes on this little sort of podium here. You can also put him in the bath there to bath him and groom him and stuff. And there's Polly and she goes there. And it sort of goes around in a circle. So that they can judge her on how well she's groomed and looked after her dog, I suppose, like a little dog show. And then when he wins, they can go on the little podium here like that. Of course you do need some other characters to sit in the chairs. I actually use some other polys from other play sets if I wanted to play with these ones like that. You can also go in this little dog carrier up here. There are a couple of cats in that one. Uh, they came out of a water game. Um, so yeah I do have, I do mix and match them and they've just kind of just stayed in there because I don't know I didn't have anywhere else to put them. My other Polly Pocket is my favourite one. This one is brilliant. And this one you can get on eBay for a lot of money. I've seen these go brand new for £300 off eBay. And it is the Polly Pocket Mermaid, the like Magical Mermaid book. And the really awesome thing about this is that it lights up. So you've got all these little sea creatures and things. That's a little dolphin. Um, and a ship and things like that under the water and everything's super sparkly 
and I absolutely love this place uh, it's brilliant I love how detailed it is I love all the little compartments in it and I always had fun playing with this when I was a kid this all lifts up there and like that and there's a mermaid in there I've only got one mermaid Polly it's supposed to have I think three but there's only one because some of them I guess have gone missing over the years and lifts up as well and there's lots of places for them to sit and things like that and a little dolphin, some seahorses and a turtle there's move and it all lights up um, if you have a playset like this don't keep the batteries in it while you're not using it because they will go they'll possibly leak and then it's ruined so I always keep the batteries out of this playset because I don't want it to get spoilt batteries go in in there so moving on from Polly Pocket, we've got these ones, these are Littlest Pet Shop play sets and they're actually, I think they're quite rare, I haven't really come across these, I, I bought these off eBay actually, I didn't have these when I was a kid, but um, it's a little dog carrier and it's got teeny little dogs inside and um, I think they're really cool but I've never ever seen them again. I bought a dog one and a cat one and I've never seen them since, they came as a pair, you know, together. Now we all know that the Littlest Pet Shop, like more recent ones they did do a load of little play sets with teeny tiny pets inside but um, I haven't actually seen I've never seen these since so I don't know if they're rare or what I guess they must be but I like how detailed it is with all the trees and the garden and stuff like that there's a little um, this here there's a little bone underneath if the dog wants to dig up the bone Unfortunately, the plastic has discoloured over the years. This one especially, the cats. You can see it was that colour when I got it. And I've kept them um, in a sort of like a, you know, packed away and stuff. But apparently, they can still um, discolour even if you keep them in a dark place. Unfortunately. This one's got little kitties in. A tree for them to climb, there's a little mouse there as well. Turn that, the mouse goes in its hole, comes back out again. And it's got like a little place for the cat to sit in there. Again, a nice design. I really like toys like this. I wish they'd do more toys like this these days actually, because they're quite innovative. How everything fitted inside and was concealed away, it's, uh, it's well thought out. This one here was um, Mimi and the Goo Goos. Now basically, I don't know who Mimi was, but the Goo Goos were babies. And um, this was the dog playset. Again, I like things with animals in. Uh, I gave the baby to my friend actually, um, but I do still have the dogs in this. Again, the plastic's discoloured, which is quite sad really, because this was one of my favourites when I was a kid. And without them all falling out, we've got two unnaturally yellow coloured dogs and a poodle the poodle can be removed from that little stand and you've got these two and it, you know, like I said it came with a baby as well but I gave that one to my friend she liked it so I thought hey you can have that one there's two little dogs this is the food bowl for the large dog but it does double as a bathtub for the small ones and there's plenty of dog food and stuff up there for them as well. Unfortunately with some of these, getting everything back in how it was is a bit difficult. I'm managing to close it without trapping everything inside. There we go. Fine. And, oh, there's food bowls on that. Don't think they closed it properly. I'll sort that out later. Finally we've got Pound Puppies. Now Pound Puppies started off by Hornby in I believe the 80s and uh, Galoob Toys bought them in the 90s and they did a load of play sets as well. We've got the Pound Jungle which is a variant of Pound Puppies. This one's quite neat. It's, uh, these were done in about 95. You've got little jungle animals in there. There's a zebra, a little tiger, 
and you've got places for them to hide under the rock or they can go down the slide there's a little swing and if we open the other side we've got again he's not supposed to be in there he came from something else my friend gave him to me and I put him in here for safekeeping my play sets are full of things like that I've just got things that don't belong there's an elephant hiding under there then you can also lift this up so they can go from one side to the other as you can see there again another nicely designed little playset and they did lots of um, different ones like this this was the jungle one but they had ones with like a similar design um, and different interiors they could also get in through there as well why is there a rubbish bin in the jungle? Oh, well, that's because um, the other ones all had rubbish bins and they were city ones so the jungle one ended up with a rubbish bin too and finally we've got this one and this is a larger playset again it's pound puppies uh, and pound perries of course too um, so this was similar to the others to the small ones they would release a load of ones that had the same exterior design and different interiors so this one was the city one and you've got a car there, I'll just move this down a bit there we go you've got a car there and they can hide inside there also lifts up as well um, places for them to hide in here and down there and this was the back alley part of the playset and then you've got a door there and the door leads to the other side Here's these. Um, and you you've got Mewtwo because again I just put him in there because I didn't have anything else to do with him so yes he's very pale Mewtwo is very pale um, so the door opens up and they can come out this side and this side's really nice it's got like a little pond they can go around on and they've got um, a slide and that actually it's a tire the other side but moves down like that and you can see they can come through here and go down on the slide there's that you can go underneath the little thing there and come out here lots of places for them to hide I can only close it again there we go and they've got a little swing there as well and of course under here and I believe that if you lift the one up the other side they can go Oh no they can't, they can't actually come through there. I thought they could but they can't come through there. They can just go through there and there. On the other side as you can see the tyre has gone to one side and they get up to that by going on that forklift there. You can lift it up and push it down. And that's the pound puppy one. So uh, yeah I do have another pound puppy one actually, it's um, a big van and it's got like a city inside it you uh, open it up and there's a little pound city inside with all sorts of things but um, I might show that another day if there's enough interest in the small play sets I can show you my bigger ones as well again all 90s stuff all retro and vintage so I hope you enjoyed having a little look at these um, these are all my favorite toys I mean I'll never get rid of these because you know they've got memories and stuff and I'd feel terrible getting rid of them so um, yeah they're my favorite things so I uh, hope you enjoyed watching um, as always feel free to click on any of the boxes that come up in the video if you want to see anything else um, I'm not sure I do have my little pet shop videos so you could probably watch those if I choose one or anything like that so anyway this is Silver signing off and I'll see you next time have a good week